Welcome to Living Diabetes. Today we will focus on an important question. Can we truly reverse type 2 diabetes? Imagine a life free from continuous blood sugar check or a life without daily doses of medication. It might sound like a fantasy for many. Yet emerging research suggests that this is not an unreachable dream, but a potential reality for some. Type 2 diabetes is often linked to lifestyle factors and typically develops in adulthood. It is a condition where body struggles to manage blood sugar levels due to insulin resistance or a lack of insulin production. The traditional view of diabetes is that it is a lifelong companion, but could there be an alternative route on our journey with type 2 diabetes? What does the term reversing diabetes mean? This doesn't mean a cure. Rather, it refers to achieving and maintaining blood sugar levels within the non-diabetic range without the aid of medication. Essentially, it is like sending diabetes into hibernation or sleep. So how does one embark on this journey? Well, it starts with understanding the cycle of type 2 diabetes. It often begins with a diet high in refined carbohydrate or calories and lack of exercise leading to weight gain, particularly around the belly. This weight gain can cause body to become resistant to insulin, resulting in high blood sugar levels. As a result, your body demands more insulin and the pancreas works overtime to produce it. This overproduction can eventually wear out the pancreas. Breaking this vicious cycle requires a multifaceted approach. Research points to several paths that have helped individuals reverse their diabetes. This includes, first, low carbohydrate diet. By reducing carb intake, you lessen the need for insulin, which can reduce insulin resistance and aid in weight loss. Second, is very low calorie diet. Significant weight loss can be achieved often leading to rapid improvement in insulin sensitivity. Third, is exercise. Regular physical activity helps the body use insulin more efficiently. Fourth, is bariatric surgery. In certain cases, surgical intervention have shown impressive remission rates, but comes with their own risk and lifestyle changes. Let's look more deeply into each of these. A low-carbohydrate diet has been potentially shown to reduce the need for insulin as carbohydrates at the main dietary component that raises blood sugar. A landmark study from University of Naples found that the participants on a low-carbohydrate Mediterranean diet experienced significantly higher rate of remission compared to those on a low-fat diet. After one year, 15% of the participants on the low-carb diet achieved remission, and impressively, after six years, 5% maintained it. Moving on to calorie restriction. A Newcastle University study revealed that an 800-calorie daily diet predominantly consisting of liquid meal replacement and non-starchy vegetables, led to remission in majority of participants after just 8 weeks. MRI scans showed this was associated with fat loss from the liver and pancreas, which are crucial organs affected by diabetes. Follow-up studies have echoed these findings, suggesting a very low-calorie diet might prompt a significant metabolic change. Physical activity is important in fight against diabetes. Exercise increases insulin sensitivity, which means your body can use the available insulin more efficiently. It is like upgrading your car to a more fuel-efficient model. You get more mileage out of what you have. Studies, including a 2015 study, indicate that combining exercise with a healthy diet can lead to a partial remission in a significant number of people with type 2 diabetes. Lastly, bariatric surgery, like gastric bypass, have shown substantial remission rates in type 2 diabetes. This is attributed to rapid weight loss and hormonal changes which affect insulin sensitivity. A 2010 study showed that 72% of participants had achieved remission three years after surgery. However, it is important to note the surgery is not without risks and is usually considered when other interventions have not been successful. It is essentially to underline that reversing diabetes is not a one-size-fits-all scenario. It requires an individualized approach. It also requires careful monitoring by healthcare professionals. For anyone considering changes to the diet, exercise regimen, or medication, it is imperative to do so under medical guidance. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you found our conversation engaging. If you enjoyed our discussion, please subscribe, like, or share. We would love to hear your thoughts. So drop us a comment below. Join us next time for more engaging conversation. Until then, take care.
ขึ้นไป